Hello, my name is Kermit, and I have a blog site entitled Orange Pickle on Computers. These are the Rugrats. They are going to attempt to assist me in the making of this video. As you can see, they're doing a very good job by attacking my shoelaces and my pant legs. To proceed, My website, I should say, my blog site, is Orange Pickle on Computers. As you can see, we have an orange and white computer case here. On the front of it, it says free, or I should say NAS1, meaning that it is a network attached storage and it's the first one I have built. I decided to use free NAS for this project and I became very intrigued with it a couple of years ago and it took me a while to get around to building it. The motherboard and processor in this case I removed from a compact Basario 7360 and it has an AMD K6-2 processor. Not the fastest one in the world. I upgraded the memory to the maximum which is 512 megs. And as an experiment, I actually loaded Windows XP on this motherboard and server uh, and a hard drive, and it actually worked very favorably. But I was more interested in making a NAS out of it. So I bought the case and power supply and compact flash card and a uh, IDE to compact flash adapter and four Hitachi hard drives a two port RAID SATA control card and I already had the uh, network card so I didn't have to buy that that was one of the old parts and the end result is, is we now have a working network attached storage device. When I was trying to figure out how to do this, I was very uncomfortable with the original, well, with the freenas.org installation information. So I decided I would go onto YouTube and see what they had there. I'm glad I did because I found several different website uh, videos concerning free NAS from several different sources, including the people which make free NAS at free NAS org, which are now promoting free NAS 8. This particular computer has free NAS 7 on it, which I am more comfortable with. And I found one site or should say video series in particular by a guy by who calls himself UXW Bill who had the most information concerning these free NAS systems. I'm pointing out here in the back that this old motherboard has two USB ports and they are USB 2 not 1.1's slow speed USB twos. The hard drive, correction, the power supply is a dual fan Diablo Tech 350 watt unit. I have a extra cooling fan, it's what they call a slot fan in the bottom of the case. And we're going to move around to the front of the case. So, in a second, we are going to show you what we have over here. I have a old Sony DVD burner, not a ROM, that I took out of a case that my I rebuilt for my goddaughter that her father gave her just prior to her, his death when I rebuilt her computer. It did not work 
or couldn't get it to work, I should say, with the new motherboard I installed on the computer. So I decided I'd hang on to it, and when I built this NAS case, I installed it there. Now, what I'm pointing out to you there is the Evercool 3 hard drive bay that I installed on the top upper portion of the case. Pick that up from Newegg for less than $20. In a second, I will open up the, the little cover panel there, and I will show you the nice filter which has is in, came with it, and there is also, which I will play with in a second, a 80 millimeter f fan for cooling the hard drives. The case has pretty good ventilation. In a minute, we shall open up the side plate and we'll see all the goodies on the inside. And I would like to point out that this case does have the ability to install an 80 millimeter fan in the front of the case for additional cooling. From the lower hard drive has a hard drive cooler attached to it. I picked that up as well as the Diablo Tech power supply from the local CompUSA store here in El Paso. Now, free NAS can be installed from a live disk. It can be run from a live disk to a D on your DVD burner or ROM. It can be installed on a flash drive. It can be installed on a hard drive or a compact flash card, which basically is the same as a SSD via the compact flash card to IDE adapter, which it is mounted on. That happens to be a 4 gig one. Um, I could have gotten a smaller one, which was two gig for a dollar less, but uh, you know my ego got in the way, so I went for the big. The actual operating system takes less than one half gig of hard drive space. The two. I'm pointing out the number of hard drives I have in the case at this point, and I indicated that the lower two hard drives are the ones that I actually have set up in the RAID 1 configuration. The other two are spares. Again, they are all 500 gig Hitachi hard drives. I keep all the spare parts that I have in a computer inside the case. That way I don't lose them in the future. And one of the things I had a problem with is that the Motherboard had a special front panel connectors. I had to use that in this case and remove the original front panel connectors and LEDs. And I was unable to use the actual power on off switch and I actually have the reset switch being used for the on off switch. LEDs are located there. The case is clear. I have one that's highly visible. The other one you can actually see through the clear plastic case. Going back to the other side there. I think I'm going to be pointing out where the different things in the back portion of the case are in a second. When I first started getting into computer repair, I searched the internet and I found a website by a man by the name of Monty Russell. He is the webmaster for DIY-computer-repair.com. I spent a lot of time researching the internet for different books, etc., that I would be interested in, in learning about computer repair and have greater in-depth knowledge of them. 
Mind you, I bought my first computer, as I said before, in 2006. Well, I bought all every book Mr. Russell has written on computer repair and servers and Windows 7, etc. And I am very pleased to say that everything he said he could do, he could, could do so. You can say he is my mentor, and I believe in. You best believe it when I say I promote his site with everywhere I go. Now, FreeNAS has different operating systems, which I may have mentioned before. The newer FreeNAS is based on. BSD8, which is a Unix program, and they are now promoting, instead of using a RAID configuration, as far as storage is concerned primarily, they are now promoting a storage system called ZDF, which I understand was originally created by Sun a number of years ago, largely forgotten and now starting to become very popular again in storage for mass systems. Which is the new FreeBDS is being is promoting correction new FreeNAS 8 is promoting as they updated FreeBDS not too long ago. Well, we're getting close to the end of this video, and I would like to thank you for watching. I know there's a bunch of other videos out here on uh, YouTube and concerning FreeNAS, but I decided I was going to have to get my two cents worth in. And I would like to give my thanks to UXW Bill for the fine videos that he had for the installation and setting up of the FreeNAS system.